I'm going through life here and I'm seeing people that, that have such potential, have the ability. Like 28, people, people used to say you're, you're at the prime of your life, 28. Things are changing now, people are living longer. So the prime of your life is probably highly likely going to start to change and it's going to start to last longer. What are most 28 year olds doing? They're not pushing themselves. They're not, they're not growing. They're not getting smarter. They're not trying to go at life and charge at life. I'm seeing these people with potential. They were great athletes. They are done. It would take a lot for them to reach what they were at 10 years ago. This is unfortunate. This is, how this happens, I don't know. But somebody is either making extremely bad decisions or they don't know what the fuck they're doing. To let your health decline that quick and you're supposed to be in the prime of your life, something is going highly wrong. We've got a bunch of people out there that do not support each other, that do not try to help each other. You can't expect help along this journey. It's on you. Whenever I say it's on you, you have to decide. Over and over again, you have to decide to show up, to be strong enough, to push through. Whenever it's that training session, you if you do not show up to every training session, something is wrong with you. You have to be strong enough that no matter how you feel, no matter what the condition is, if you make a commitment that you will show up at every stage. I met many great athletes. I saw all these people have potential. I already knew the ones that weren't going to go for a great life. They had a bad journey ahead of them and they were already believing that they're going to go for it and they chose a bad choice in life. But that, I already knew that was happening. The problem was whenever I saw the great people out there, they, they, they were already excelling. They, they were great athletes. They were able to do so much. They have hit 28, they're fucking dead. Now, I don't mean they're actually passed away. I mean, the, every bit of potential that they had, every bit of energy that they had. Whenever you saw them back in the day, they were ready to go, they were strong, they were healthy. Now they're overweight. They're skinnier than what they were. They're, 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 they're that, they've got no muscle, so they're skinny with no muscle. And they've got a lot of uh, oh, oh, fat that they've gained just by running a bad diet, not exercising. There's nothing wrong with being overweight, but when you had that type of potential, you had that ability to be a great athlete, and you threw that all away for some poor reason, you're not gonna live a great life. I'm saying you don't let that happen. Don't set these limiters on your life like most people do. If you set those limiters on, it's time to take it off. The biggest restriction on energy, on belief, on the ability to be consistent in life is the limiters that people put on. Limiters are things that you say, I can't do it, or, or you, you don't want to push again. You're feeling a bit slower today, so you don't go. All those things are limiters. The moment you take those off and you're willing to push through whatever it is, to show up, to get better, to actually grow in life. The, the people who are 28, whenever you look back at how they used to be, they're already on a decline. Your life should be on an incline where you're pushing forward and growing more. To make the difference, to make the change, is to go through whatever that is at, at whatever whatever it takes type attitude.